morning. Thank you for being here this morning. I'm joined today by County Commissioner Jason Corley and by Councilman Juan Chitis and Councilman Randy Christian. We're here today to talk about the, the top legislative priority for the city of Lubbock in this legislative session, and that is getting some state assistance to help remediate this former recycling center. We want to start by thanking uh, Senator Perry and, and Chairman Perry and Chairman Burroughs uh, and, and Representative Frulo for their efforts on our behalf. And we want to thank TCEQ for helping us to get to where we are today. The city and the county have long sought assistance in fixing this problem. In fact, this is the third session in a row that this has been the top legislative priority for the city of Lubbock. Now, this is not a, uh, it's not today, and, or has it been a, a city of Lubbock, or for that matter, a, a Lubbock County problem, but it's one that affects us and our community, and it has for more than a decade. And you probably all have file footage or remember the, the fires. We've had two separate fires here that burned for, I think, more than a week each time. We had to close the airport. Uh, it had a significant impact on our community. In fact, the state holds a judgment, a court judgment, uh, against what you see back here in the, that property owner and has for more than a decade. So we've asked the state to partner with us to help clean this up. You, you may remember, but just in the last month, both the county and the city, have we passed a joint resolution urging the state to help us with this funding. The Chamber of Commerce has also voiced their support for this effort. And I think the really the good news in this is that the TCEQ, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, has provided a, a, a potential solution. So that's something that we've not gotten in the past. Senator Perry and uh, Chairman Burroughs have, have both filed requests for that funding. Uh, it is, it's in the, the budget, but it's not, it's not in the firm part of the budget. And, that's a hard discussion. We can talk about that later if you'd like. But we're closer now than we've ever been. I think that's the message. And we just, we're going to continue to need help as we work through the last third of the legislative session to get this finalized. The dollars that we seek, and I think this is important, these dollars are not general revenue dollars from the state. Rather, they're dollars that are held in a particular fund that is comprised of tipping fees that are paid to the state by landfill operators like the city of Lubbock. So these funds are restricted in this fund. It's called Fund 5000. And this, the funds would come for this project would come from that fund. They would not come from, from general revenue. And they wouldn't take away from other much needed state services. The city and, and the county both stand ready to be a partner in, in this effort, and that's been clear up front. TCQ is aware of that. And the legislature, uh, we ask that the legislature support our local delegation and provide the funding to allow us to, to clean this up. I want to close by, again, thanking uh, our local legislative delegation for their efforts. We're closer than we've ever been on this. And I, I again urge the legislature as a whole to, to recognize both this problem and the opportunity to help clean up a, our front doorstep. We would just ask that they please fund this request. Uh, before we uh, do questions and answers, I thought it'd be appropriate to, to let uh, Councilman Chinas, this is his, this is his district. Actually, his district goes around this. I'll let him make a comment, and then uh, 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 Commissioner Corley and, and 
Councilman Christian, if they've got something to say. Councilman Chitis. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first off, I'd like to also extend a thank you to Senator Perry, Representative Burroughs, and Representative Frulo and TCQ for guidance. Again, this is an ongoing project. It's been going on for, as the mayor mentioned, for 10 years. It seems like this is the closest we've gotten to cleaning this up. It is a gateway to Lubbock. We want to show the people that are coming into this area, into our beautiful city, that we are doing something to beautify this area. Again, I want to thank those uh, people in Austin, our representatives, to continue finding the resources to help us clean this up. Thank you, Mayor. Brother Christian. Uh, thank you for being here, uh, too. And I just want to reiterate our, our thanks to our legislative team to uh, uh, taking this task. And uh, we, we just hope that they can carry the ball across the goal line so that we can get this mess cleaned up. It's been a it's been an eyesore in a, uh, for our city and our county for many, many years and a safety hazard in, in so many ways. And uh, it's time to get it cleaned up. Uh, thank you very much. Every year, the uh, TCQ spends millions of dollars to uh, remediate, uh, you know, areas just like this across the state, and uh, you know, we'd we'd like to see them spend some of those funds here in Lubbock to help us uh, solve solve this little problem that we have and help us take care of this eyesore. And uh, I'd like to thank our our uh, our representatives in Austin for uh, you know assisting us with that process. Mm -hmm. 